Hi, it's Louise Presley-Turner here, your coach and author of Finding a Future That Fits. And I help you to find your future, build your business and to love your life. Now this month's video is all about starting a business from your sofa. Now many people think that starting your own business is overwhelming and challenging, but the truth is it's far simpler than you think. Taking control of your working life by venturing out on your own may be scary, but it's far better to take control of your own destiny than waste your life in a stuffy office working for somebody else. And in many cases, running your own business offers far more job security. Leaving the corporate world to start my own coaching practice, helping women to create a business and life they love, has been the biggest blessing of my life. And I've managed to construct a lifestyle that allows me to live my passion, earn money doing something I adore, whilst fitting my working hours around my family. You know, what more could I ask for? So if you're toying with the idea of going it alone, let me share with you five of the most important steps you must consider before starting out. Step one, be clear on why you want to start a business in the first place. Self-employment is wonderfully freeing, but it isn't for everybody. So really consider all the pros and cons. In the early days, you very ha often have to play all roles from finance manager to business manager, marketing manager maybe, and even the cleaner. It's full on. And it takes real determination, focus and patience. You really need to know exactly what you're letting yourself in for, so do your research. Step two, decide on your line of business. Now in order to love your work and to be super successful, you must have a passion for what you do. In my coaching practice, I help women all over the world to find their purpose, to discover their genius and to bring it into the world. I am truly passionate about this subject. So for me, work feels more like play and I get paid to do it. So look at your natural talents and gifts. What are you really passionate about? What are you good at? And what would you love to earn a living doing? Also consider what is going to make the difference from all the other florists maybe, or beauty salons, or coaches, or writers. What is your USP? Step three, create a simple plan. Now don't be scared by this. You don't have to have a fully comprehensive business plan at this stage, just create a simple 12 month, month plan of all the things you're going to have to achieve, taking you from the idea stage through to launch day and beyond. So include things like what you'll be offering, who you'll be targeting, how much you're going to charge and what you'll do to make it happen. It's a fluid process that will change once you dive in, so keep it simple. Consider seeking out a, a business mentor or coach to give you the support you need because it can make the world of difference. Step four, what is your niche? Who is your ideal client? Now a common mistake new business owners make is to target everybody with a pulse, and I did the same when I set out, but it does not work in the long run. So determine exactly who your perfect customers are, their sex, their age, their income, location, and so on. Knowing your niche enables you to market directly to them. And once you're clear on your market, you can design your website, your packaging, your business cards, so that they attract your specific niche. The more that you can pinpoint your target client, the more focused your marketing efforts will be to reach them. And in the long run, this is what is going to make your business successful and thrive. And finally, step five, get out there. It is all about marketing, marketing, marketing. And as an ex-marketing manager, I know this more than anybody. You need a marketing plan. And if you get freaked out by the word marketing or even sales, just change the word to, I don't know, client attraction or client promotion. Marketing isn't as scary as you think. It's about getting your message out there into the world in an authentic way 
way. So each week you need to schedule in time where your sole focus is to get out there and market your product or service. Many business owners are very reactive when it comes to marketing, only advertising when their customers dry up and this inevitably creates a feast or famine effect which is not good for business. So create a simple marketing or activity plan at the beginning of the year and implement it and this will ensure that you have a steady and lucrative business. Unless you get out there and shout from the rooftops, you cannot serve your market. Now, I've only shared a few of my most important tips with you. So if you want more tips on starting a business from your sofa, then you can read the full article below this video. I hope this month's tip has served you. And if you're looking for help and support with your business, then get in touch. Book yourself a discovery session. For more videos like this, then come and join my list at thegameoflife.co.uk and also get your free life evaluator and planner too. I am Louise Presley-Turner, coach, mentor, author and founder of thegameoflife.co.uk.